Hi everybody, Ryan Ballinger with Golf News Net here continuing our series of reviews of Cleveland and Strixon Golf's 2016-2017 equipment. We continue now into a series of irons, an iron set with the Z765 series. A classic looking player's iron with some updated features that really extend the, the ability of the iron to do the things that you want to do with them. So this 1020 carbon steel forged product is gorgeous. It looks great, has a classic shape, has a classic look. It fits in with the current shaping that the Strixon models tend to do with the badging in the back that looks like it's moving weight toward the toe, but not really kind of just outside the toe a little bit to give you a little bit more oomph on those off center hits to keep the ball moving in the positive direction uh, and getting a little bit more maximum maximizing distance for those off center hits. The top line is not outrageously thin, but it's just thin enough for that muscle cavity category to give you good confidence over the ball, make you feel like you're hitting something that is more akin to your game as opposed to a thicker top line that maybe you see with a couple of different types of clubs that kind of fit into that player category of 5 to 15 handicap where you feel like if you're toward that 15 range you might need something a little bit thicker. This is not that kind of iron. The Z765s are not that kind of iron. This is for a player, in my view, who is between a 5 and 9 handicap, closer toward 5, maybe toward scratch depending on how you feel about it and what kind of person you are, what kind of player you are, and what you kind of prefer to look at standing over the ball. But the clubs feel great. They give you a lot of good feedback without being punishing. They let you work the ball without being difficult. They give you forgiveness while at the same time giving you options. They've improved the sole of the club. It really reduces turf interaction to the point that you can kind of do what you want with it, almost kind of like with a, a, tour, a tour grind on a wedge where you can tet take the different kind of options that you want to take uh, depending on the lie, depending on what you want to do with the shot, and you can do them with these clubs. I, I feel like they're a little bit heavier than some of the irons, that, player irons that we've tried recently, and maybe that's just a perception thing above all else. But these are solid clubs, and they're certainly worth looking into if you're out there looking to make a player iron purchase. There are a lot of good player irons out there right now for the single digit handicapper, and, and this is certainly one that you can consider. At $1,100, just like any player's iron, that is typically the investment you're going to make somewhere in that $1,000 to $1,100 range for a steel shaft, maybe a little bit more, depending on customization, if you go for graphite. But take a look at the Strixon Z765 irons. I think you'll be impressed with not only the classic look and shape, but also the innovation of technology with deeper grooves, tungsten weighting on the mid to long irons to improve the MOI on off-center hits, as well uh, an overall shape that inspires confidence for the kind of player that wants to move the golf ball as they see fit around the golf course. For Golf News Net, I'm Ryan Balanchine, and we'll see you next time.